Hello guys, my name is Mathur and welcome to my channel. This is the 49th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to check out another application of the exec command and uh, we're going to change the input stream to a file again and we're going to build a script that counts the number of sentences and also the number of words in uh, a text file. Now I know it's possible to do these things with the help of the wc command but this shell script might actually be fun to make. So I have my text editor here and uh, I've saved this file in the home folder. It has the name count and the extension sh and um, what I'm going to do first in this uh, script is I'm going to ask the user to enter a file name and uh, echo is going to be the command that I've used to display the message. So enter a file name right and uh, I'll put the slash c sequence at the end and then I'll use read to store the input in uh, the variable f name right now I want to save my current terminal settings so I'll use the variable terminal to hold them and uh, obviously tdy is going to be the command that's going to give me my current terminal settings and since it's a command I'll have to put it in reverse quotes because we are interested in the output and uh, once we've done that we can change the stream to the file and I do that by typing in exec space the lesson symbol and space dollar f name because f name is the variable that contains my file name. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize two variables nol which uh, will eventually return to me the number of lines in the file and uh, now which is going to return to me the number of words and I'm going to give both these variables starting values of uh, 0 and uh, now on line 11 I'm going to write in my while statement because I want to iterate over the sentences in the file so I'll obviously have to use a looping construct and uh, as we did in uh, uh, the last last tutorial we're going to use read statement because we want to fetch these statements out of the text file so read is going to help us do that and then I'm going to type in my control variable for the loop which is going to be line you can call it anything but I like to call it line on line 12 I'll type in the keyword do because I want to get inside the while block now and what while does for me is it iterates over all the sentences in the text file so if you want to know the number of lines then basically you have to count the number of iterations that is you have to count the number of times the while body gets executed and uh, it's actually pretty simple to determine the number of lines uh, because I'll just type in nol and then I'll increment it by 1. So in the first iteration nol uh, has the value 0 but at the end of the first iteration it will have the value 1 and at the end of the second iteration it will have the value 2 and at the end of the third iteration it will have the value 3. So if there are 10 lines in the file then there are going to be 10 while loop iterations and nol will be incremented each time and thus at the end of the while loops execution nol will tell us the number of lines in the file right so in order to increment nol i'll use expr dollar nol plus one and since this is a mathematical expression i have to put the expression within reverse code now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the set command to set my positional parameters with the words that are in the statement over which we are iterating right so that I'm going to do by typing set space dollar line and remember in the first iteration line will have the first sentence in the file so set will set the positional parameters with the words that are there in the first sentence and in the second iteration set will set the positional parameters with the words that are there in the second sentence and this will happen uh, for as long as there are sentences in the text file right and once our positional parameters have been set we can easily determine their number uh, by using the value of the system variable dollar hash right so to count the number of words I'll type in now is equal to I'll use expr to increment the value we're not going to increment the value by one but we are going to increment the value by the number of positional parameters that have been set by the previous statement that is set space dollar line so dollar hash that's going to go there and since again we are interested in the output of this thing 
I'm going to put this expression within reverse quotation mark. And uh, after this, we are done with our while block. So I can type in my keyword done to move out of the while block. And uh, now we can echo out both the number of lines as well as the number of words on screen. So number of lines dollar nol and on the next line i'll use echo to display the number of words of words colon dollar n o w all right and uh, now we can change our um, input stream back to the keyboard that i'm going to do by typing in EXEC space less than symbol space dollar terminal because terminal here holds my older terminal settings, right? So I'll save the script file and I'll bring up my terminal and I'll execute this file by typing in sh space count dot sh. And when I press the enter key, the shell asks me to enter a file name and uh, text is a file that I know that's there in my home folder and has uh, four sentences. I don't know how many words it has, but it has four sentences. And when I press the enter key, it tells me that there are four lines in my file. And it also tells me that there are 37 words. This I thought would be fun because uh, we've been learning plenty of new concepts over the past few tutorials and we haven't been really doing any meaningful work. So I thought maybe for a change, we should uh, build a script that does something that can actually be done by using a utility that, that is already known to us. I'm talking about WC here. You can easily count the number of lines in a text file by uh, passing aid as an argument to WC with the option hyphen L. And you can count the number of words by passing the file name as an argument to WC with the option hyphen W. So, you know, those things can be done with WC, but this is what makes people good programmers. They should know how to do one thing, simple things in uh, more than one ways. And that's why I took this example. And uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll discuss something interesting again. Thank you so much for watching this one. I'll see you in the next one. And please subscribe to my channel.